All right, so it is finally time to make a setup tool video because I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys saying, imagine how dirty my room looks because of my PS5 video. That kind of went viral. I got like 6.3 million views. So that was a lot of views for me. So anyway, I'm gonna be showing you every single thing in my setup that I use. And I have spent about $13,000 and I started making the setup in 2017 and I still haven't finished it yet. I don't make that much money. So like, you know, I've been spending a little bit every year and till now I have spent about $13,000 and I'm gonna be showing you every single thing because you guys can see that side right here in all of my videos because that's my console setup but that's not my main setup my main setup is right in front of me I've got my PC down there I've got my two monitors I've got my streaming setup my camera lights and every single thing is on this side and I'm gonna be showing you every single thing in this video and I'm gonna be showing you as I'm using it right now um, it's not like you know I have cleaned my setup to show you in the video I'm gonna, I'm gonna be showing you like literally the way I use it every single day so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and again um, this is a setup to video I'm gonna be showing you every single thing and every single thing that I use is gonna be listed down in the description you guys can check that out as well so now that for you let's get right into it all right so I'm gonna be starting from this side because this is where I do all the work where I like you know record videos where basically all the magic happens and this is actually my um uh, console setup on this side we'll get into that later so first we're gonna be starting from this side right here so I'm gonna be starting from the PC so this PC is really good like you know I spent about like two thousand eight hundred dollars um, for this PC I built it by myself so the specification is gonna be on the screen but I'm also gonna tell you right now so it's uh, Ryzen 9 3900X stock uh, not over, uh, overclocked or anything like that and the GPU is GTX 1080 uh, and there's a story for that. I had like RTX 2060. I sold it to get like um, RTX 3000 series, but at that time uh, 3000 series prices went all the way up and, and I was like, you know, I don't want to buy it, the expensive GPU. So I'm still using this GTX 1080 for I think it's been like five years. I'm still using it and it's it still works so good. Trust me. And the RAM we have is 32 gigs Trident Z uh, 3200 megahertz and uh, it's uh, like another you know, CPU is cooled by cooler master um ml240 and uh, this works so well like you know um like you know the main components that i told you it's so good and by the way the motherboard is x570 by msi it's the pro version i don't know it's just msi x570 pro or something like that so this is a pc and i also have another pc right there i don't know if you guys can see it uh this is my old pc it's um ryzen 5 2600x and like you know uh, DTX 750Ti and it's still good like you know I use it for streaming sometimes so anyway it's right there so that's the PC that I use and then we have the monitors and the monitors are really amazing this one right here is Samsung um, 1440p 140Hz and this monitor works with PS5 1440p 120Hz amazingly like you know I'm using it for my PS5 and the PS5 is also connected to the TV because like you know uh, i can just like you know, change it like you know whenever i want to play on a tv or on this monitor so this monitor by samsung it's so amazing and i highly recommend you to get this one it's 27 inch curved monitor and trust me if you're looking to get a 4k monitor a 4k tv i'm telling you you won't see any difference from this size if you want to get a 4k tv absolutely fine this one is also 120 hertz and this looks amazing but if you want to get a monitor i would say 1440p 144 hertz monitor is enough when you're like you know playing from this close like trust me so a really good monitor and the next monitor we have and also the camera you guys can see me right here uh in the camera so camera is sony alpha it's really expensive camera it's a mirrorless camera i bought it to record the videos and you guys might have seen me uh like you know doing the face cam videos from right here so that's the camera it's really good like really amazing mirrorless camera and i think every streamer used that camera so i just googled and i bought it so um this monitor right here like you know i have the prices of my components right here i was calculating it actually so anyway this monitor is a so predator 240 hertz and it's only 1080p i use it to play valorant so like you know high refresh it matters a lot so 240 hertz monitor right here on the right side that one is i already told you so that's the monitor and the pc and the keyboard uh, and keyboard is kind of dusty like i said i didn't clean my room i didn't like you know make any i didn't make any changes just i wanted to show you like you know the the way I'm using my uh, setup, the way I'm using my room. So, so like, you know, to make it more natural kind of video, I'm not gonna, like, you know, add any fancy stuff to show show you guys, like, you know, just for the video. No, I, I didn't do that. So, the keyboard is uh, HyperX um, Allo FPS. 
it's like cherry i think it's the right keys yeah it's the cherry mx right keys really good i mean they don't uh, i cannot hear and like you know they don't make any sound i'm just gonna do this because uh, i don't wanna mess up the calculation i did so yeah it's not that much clicky but still it's really good uh, keyboard i use it all the time and the mouse is also hyperx um I think it's the pulse fire rate yeah it's a pulse fire rate and it's it's really good i mean it's kind of heavy it's not the uh lightweight um mouse the people that use it's just the basic mouse that's like you know that's good for gaming and for all the stuff i mean i don't know so anyway <clears throat> let's get into the other side and by the way i have another uh uh like you know ps4 pro right down there it's kind of dirty i'm not gonna get too much uh, like you know closer to it because it's all the way inside it's a ps4 pro that ps4 pro i used to record it's connected to the elgato and yeah by the way i have elgato hd60 in my um like you know, pc as well it's like you know uh hd60 pro so like, you know, i use it to record all the gameplays and stuff so the ps4 pro is right there and i also have my uh, console collection we'll get into that later Trust me, it's so amazing. So now let's get on to the left, left side. And by the way, I have a chair that is the um, Cooler Master. It's kind of ripped from that. My cat did it and it's it still works. Like, you know, sometimes it kind of hurts sitting there. I still use it and here's my uh, main phone. It's the iPhone. Everyone use that. So, yeah, the Cooler Master chair. I think it's the, um, I forgot the name. It's the Caliber R1 or something like that. So now let's get on to this side. This is where the good stuff is. So I've got like four... Um, Headphones. This one is for the music. It's the Sony WH XM4 uh, 1000 XM, uh, XM4. It's it's a big name. It's it's so hard to say. So it's Sony WH 1000 XM4. One of the best headphone headphones out there. It was like the number one headphone before the XM5s came out. The like you know the bigger brother of this one. But still, this one is so good. And if you're looking to buy, I would say get this one because you will make uh, you'll save up about like hundred dollars or something. But this still sounds as same as the XM5s, trust me. And also my uh, cat is here, Zoe. Hello. Oh, oh she's sleeping, I didn't want to do that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sleep, sleep, sleep. Okay. So, WH1000 XM4. These ones are really expensive though. I, I bought these for like, I don't know, $350 when I bought it. So, it was kind of expensive, but trust me. Noise cancellation and everything is so good. Let me just show you. Like These headphones are amazing, trust me. Like These are so good. And these are the, um, I don't know, like, I think every PS5 um, user have this, like, you know, Pulse 3D. These are the um, Turtle Beach uh, Stealth 450. And these are the uh, headphones that I use on my PC. These are the um, Arctis 5. And they're, like, so good. Like, they're wired, but they're still so good. And I'm not going to get too much detail into this side because, like, you know, I keep most of the stuff that I'm going to be using later that I never use. Like, you know, RGB lights and stuff, like, you know, my old PC case. Like, in all this stuff, I'm not going to get into that side because, trust me, it's it's really, like, you know, messed up. So, uh, this side is complete. Now, let's get onto this side. And, yeah, I play keyboard, by the way. If you guys want to check out my music channel, link is going to be up there. You guys can go and check. I play um, keyboard. I also play guitar. So, you guys can check out my music channel as well. So, anyway, here's the thing. Uh, this is the PS5. You guys remember this PS5? It was really dirty almost got me like i don't know six million views or not almost it's like you no know, more than six million views in that video so it's completely clean i cleaned it it's it's uh it's always like that it was never that dirty it was just once when i was out i came home i recorded the um ps5 and it was just insane so anyway and it's like you know i was playing it actually right there so there's that so this tv is tcl uh i do not remember i mean i wrote it right there i want to go there the name so uh this is like the 55 inch 4k qled and it's 120 hertz i think uh, i never played 120 hertz on this uh, i rarely play on tv so it's it's really good tv trust me it costed me about like a thousand dollars but still this tv is so good the colors and everything is like you know uh hdr hdr 10 and dolby vision it has all the good stuff like literally um if you want to get like a good QLED TV and OLEDs are like, you know, really expensive. So this one was really good. I bought it for like, like I said, a thousand dollars and good for the movies though. So yeah, this is like Neon Science, like Pac-Man. The table, uh, I'm not going to talk that much about the furniture. Now, before I get into this side, this side is really amazing. I'm going to talk about this camera. So this camera right here is the um, Canon 700D. I bought this like, I don't know, six, seven years ago. I still use it for photography. I mean, I'm not a photographer, but still, like, you know, when I go out, like, you know, with my family and stuff, I use this camera, and it's really good. And there's, like, uh, some 
like you know posters of machine and carry i'm not a fan of him i i just like this uh specific um album tickets to my downfall so i had to get it all right so this is where i started talking about my girlfriend that's her name millie so i just wanted to like you know tell her that i really love her so if you ever uh, if you ever gonna watch this video she should know that so that's her name i wrote on the wall so anyway now let's continue um this side the camera it's canon 700d and this camera is really old though like i said like and you know, i bought it like six years ago really it was really expensive at that time i had to like you know save up so much money for this and it was really worth it i took so many uh, pictures with this so yeah and this side like you know i keep my shoes like you know a couple of airports his converse I does Puma, you name it, like, you know, I don't have, like, so much shoes, I'm not a sneakerhead or anything like that, but still, like, you know, I have good amount of shoes, like, you know, so I can just, like, you know, wear them on weekends, and this guitar, it's the Ibanez, and I think it's, it's, it goes, like, you know, Ibanez in the, like, you know, in the language, but still, I call it Ibanez, really good guitar, I play it sometimes, so, now let's get on to this side, so this is where I keep my PlayStation collection. So there's a PS1 from like, you know, the first edition that ever uh, got released. Uh, I think it was in like, you know, it was way before I was born. Like, you know, my brothers had it and now I have it. Still, it still works. Like, you know, uh, uh, I kept some money right in there, so it's okay. This PS5, uh, not the PS5, PS1 still works. Absolutely fine. Uh, like, you know, uh, I might make a video about it. So uh, PS1 is right here. Like, the first edition that ever got released, there was a PS1. And like, you know, there was this PlayStation, like, you know, just PlayStation, not PS1. So this one is PlayStation. It, it's not like the PS1, it's a PlayStation, the original. So it's right there. And then um, we have the PS2 here. Uh, I kind of put it that way. I should put it this way. It's kind of dusty. Like, you know, uh, like I said, I didn't clean my room. I kept it the way it is to show you guys, like, you know, the room, like, you know, the way I use it. So... The PS2 is right here, still works again. It's it's not modded or anything like that. You have to use the original DVDs uh, for this PS2. They're still kind of expensive though. I don't buy them. I just have the PS2 and I don't have any games for that as well. So here we have the PS3. So PS1, PS2, PS3. And this PS3 was like the second model of the PS3. Like and there was the fat one and this was a slim one, I believe. And there was the super slim one as well. So this one is like 320 gigs. PS3 Slim still works. I still have so many games inside it. And I actually made a video about like, you know, how to jailbreak a PS3. So you guys can check that out as well if you're into jailbreaking and stuff. Like, you know, if you want to um, jailbreak your PlayStation 3. So here we have a PS4. Remember, we have a PS4 Pro right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. And there's a PS4. So there's the PS4 I bought after selling two of my PS4. So I had the um, PS4, the first one that ever came out. That one kind of, that was like kind of annoying. Like, you know, it had the touch button like you know even for this um thing it was like and you know, it was kind of a mess up every time i used to clean it like you know it did that um like you know turning off the playstation so that kind of sucked so i sold that one i bought the one tb one that was also the fat ps4 but it was like you know with the physical button in the middle so that one was kind of a overheating so i had to sell it so this is a ps4 slim i bought like in uh, I, I don't remember it's like 2016 I, I i don't know it was that so this is a ps4 and uh here like you know this controller is for the PS1, PS2 controller, and this controller right here, and I've got like few games, like physical games on there. So this controller right here, you guys have no idea what you're gonna see. So this uh, controller, I have to go into like, fuck it, it's kind of dirty. So anyway, so this controller, it's called Nacon Revolution controller for PlayStation 4. So you guys know there's this new Edge controller is coming out for the um, PS5. This is that from like 2017, trust me. It has all the buttons, you can switch the profiles and stuff, you can load up profiles, there's like different modes, mode 1 for PS4, mode 2 for like, you know, using the back buttons and then profile changing, it's like, it has so many features, I don't think so, like any controller ever, ha like, you know, release this much feature, so, there's that, and also if you, if you can zoom in, you guys can see the small detailing of the PlayStation uh, icons, let me just focus on that, come on, focus, you guys can see, and, uh, this uh, PS5 controller also, uh, also have that, but still it's kind of dirty. But this controller had that from long before. So I think PS5 kind of copied that thing from the touch bar. So this controller is really expensive though. It was like, I don't know, $300. But still this is uh, worth it. And it has this USB-C type uh, connector, like, you know, from 2017. Imagine a controller that got released in 2017 having the USB-C type. That's kind of an amazing thing. So this is like more like PS5 Edge controller, a PS4 Edge controller, I would say. 
but it's from the company called Nikon. So yeah, really good controller though. I mean, I use it all the time and the buttons are really clicky. They're not the pedals, they're the clicky buttons and trust me, they're so satisfying. So it's this side, PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, PS4 Pro is right there. And I'm thinking what else is that to show you guys in my room. It's like, well, there's nothing left, I think. So yeah, there's a room. This is where I play my games. This is where I record the videos. This, this is where all the magic happens. And uh, all of these things that I've showed you, I think I've shown you everything. Um, let me, I, I'm, I'm kind of reading it like, you know, I was actually um, calculating the prices that I actually, like, you know, spent, like, you know, all of it. So anyway, yeah, this is a gaming setup. This, uh, like, you know, this is where I play games. This is my room. Okay, so anyway, that's my gaming setup. I hope you guys enjoyed it and i know it's not much it's not like you know well um organized or something like you know, something like that what do we call it like you know minimal setup it's just me this is how i play games this is where i play games and uh yeah this is my setup video and uh, i'm gonna be making more, more videos from now on so i will catch you guys on the next one peace out